Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be testing the LD power motor. Now these a while back made a you know huge uh, deal where everyone was saying they're just insane, they're very good. And today we're actually going to put some numbers to the insaneness. So they are made in Shenzhen as you can tell right there. And they're 2306, 2450 KV. So that's pretty cool and it's to be expected nowadays. So let's just take a look here. So packaging is pretty nice. Let's take a look at the motor here. Let's see what it comes with. Uh, what do we have here? So they give us, or I think, five screws and two nuts. So that's pretty nice. That's, you know, yeah. All right, so let's take a look at the motor here. So as you can see here, it's a bottomless motor, which uh, a lot of people are starting to like these days. Plus, it reduces weight. And you can see when your screw is going to hit the coil, which is a very big plus. And let's just take a look at the magnets and the gap in here. So the gap is very nice actually it's it's super tiny and they're using arc magnets as you can tell the magnets are curved and um yeah so overall i mean it looks good the windings look pretty thick so it is a 24 it's a 2450 kv i think yes yeah, so it's a 2450 kv so it's a bit of a high kv but overall i mean it looks nice it's pretty well designed here it feels good in the hand uh let's just take a look here you can feel a notch every once in a while, but um, overall it's pretty smooth. And as you can tell here, this is super awesome. It's not using C-clips, so if you had to remove the bell to clean this guy out, just use your hex driver. Just be careful when doing that because usually there's a spacer right below the screw. And if you lose that, then you're basically screwed. So try not to lose that and be careful when taking it apart. The wire gauge here is 20. Uh, the gauge is, is 20 gauge right here. So let's go ahead and see the length of the wire. Uh, it's about, wow, it's, what is this, 15? 15 centimeters. So give or take a centimeter or so. So it's 15 centimeters. So the, the wires are going to be long enough for almost any build that's using a 4-in-1 ESC, which I really like. And I think a lot of motors should really do this from now on. So let's go ahead and grab its weight here. And after that, we're going to go ahead into the testing results. So it's uh, 34 grams. A lot of these motors are just coming in around 34 grams, especially 2306. So it's an average weight. Nothing too light, nothing too heavy. It's just right there. Um, so it averages out with the other 2306 motors. Overall, it looks nice. It looks pretty good. It is kind of expensive. So I'm expecting good performance out of this. Uh, it's a $20 motor. So we better be competing with T-Motor and like an Emacs 2306 and all those crazy guys. So let's go ahead and check the testing results here. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at the results here. Now, I ran each test twice right after each other to see the motor's temperature also. Now, full throttle does hold for three seconds, and everything else holds for two seconds, and it just ramps up. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, as you can tell here, this is full throttle, which is 2,000, and this is 2,000. Now, the one in yellow, the graph in yellow, is the dial prop. So let's just take a look at the dial prop first. On the one of the tests, it was uh, putting out one point one thousand and one hundred and sixty grams of thrust that is over a kilogram of thrust which is pretty insane but also if you take a look at the current here we're hitting 48 amps of current you know that that's that's a lot of current so you need some proper escs but when you know when four motors are pulling obviously your voltage would drop significantly uh lower than this so so far this thing is hella powerful i mean just looking at it here look at that that's just a dowel prop and here we got 110 this was i think the second test now why did it drop around 50 to 40 grams of thrust the motor got pretty toasty actually it was pretty hot to touch i couldn't actually i couldn't touch it to remove the propeller to put the king kong after so it does get pretty hot at these kinds of uh, full throttle uh, settings the cooling on the motor itself doesn't seem very efficient as other motors that I've been testing 
and those will be upcoming next on the channel now the vibration here uh, if you take a look it's okay but i've seen better i still need more data to understand the vibration as you can tell the king kong here was going all crazy right there uh, a lot of vibration going on there now how does this compare to the racer star motor for example i'm just just letting that out there so this is a 20 dollars motor does it perform twice as good actually no it does not the racer star motor puts up around one kilogram of thrust 996 grams or something of that range at 35 amp current so it's even more efficient and and, and slightly better so these extra I don't know what is that 10 amps for an extra 100 200 grams i i don't i would personally i would pass but it's this thing is very powerful if you need power you got power so it's 20 dollar motor this guy so let's take a look at the king kong the king kong we got the maximum of a thousand one hundred and uh 14 grams of thrust so just ignore the last uh you know just ignore these right here and you can see it like this there we go so 1000 that's 11000 so right there so you can tell right there so it's it's um in kilograms so it's 1.1 kilogram of thrust and um yeah this thing is this, this thing has power it has a lot of power but as you can tell here with the king kong we got lower amp draw maybe it's because of the pitch because this is a 45 and this is a 46 so that that says a lot here maybe the, the i need to get a new prop i've been using the same prop in all the motors so it probably just needs to get changed here that's why we got a lot of vibrations right there we got almost more than double the vibe we have like quadruple the vibrations in the quad even actually more five times the vibration with the prop with this king kong prop here but overall you know this motor seemed pretty good it was hella strong i mean it, I, I just actually i ran away from the, the the thrust stand and i was just hiding until it finished so yeah this thing is a beast so yeah and if anyone's used it, i still haven't used it i will be putting on a build just to check it out I, but looking at it you're gonna need to put some proper escs i would highly recommend you go with like a tico 32 uh some kind of a 50 amp esc and you know something that's very powerful that could withstand a lot of amp but while you fly obviously this would be a lot lower but just to be sure you don't have anything uh just you know acting all weird so yeah uh, overall i mean it seems like a good motor here are the test results so uh, i can't really say much more seems good quality the motor the motor length the wire the motor wires length were very good uh, i really like it that they're long and uh overall seems like a good motor so if anyone's used it please let us know down in the comment section durability wise let us know i'm sure i'm curious as well as others are going to be curious and that's it guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video Please consider joining my Patreon. Help me support this channel, uh, support this mission, document everything. I'll leave a link to this uh, Excel sheet down below if you're curious and you wanted to check it out. You can go ahead and check it out. And, well, that's it, guys. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can also use the fill links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you, guys. Take care.